Why, hello there everybody and welcome to another video. Today, we will be heading to Norway, Oslo for the Trash Taste Tour. Part 1, Trip to Oslo. I put on my trusty Valkyrie merch and headed for the airport, as Oslo is still pretty far away from me. Uh, I think we're 24 Cs. With me on this trip was my trusty friend, uh, we'll call him L, who was born and raised in Oslo and who was very keen on showing me around. So that will be our next destination. We make it to the official Oslo airport. It was brimming with life, big and full of people, but without wasting any more time, we headed towards the center of the city of Oslo, where the Trash Taste Show would take place within one of the city's many, many theaters. Part 2 Exploration Oslo was an absolute beauty of a city riddled with very interesting architecture, pieces of art, and of course, right by the sea. So as a first little attraction, we made our way to the docks that surround the city. I feel like there's a lot of life experience to be had. On our way to the center of the city, we also went over one of the bridges above the train station that goes in and out of Oslo. It literally looks like a Pokeball. Am I crazy? Crazy? I was crazy. Well, like we then went through a marathon of both otaku and anime shops all around Oslo, which featured a multitude of merch from Pokemon to anime like Chainsaw Man, Jujutsu Kaisen, figurines from any anime you can think of, and an absolute myriad of products for you to see. Here I am getting pretty excited about my favorite series, Jujutsu Kaisen. I really wanted to get one of these. And then I kind of bypassed the section of figures that I probably can't show here on YouTube due to their lewdness. We also went through the manga section that had about every single manga you can think of up on display for you to see. A Zelda manga, Made in Abyss, which I watched recently, was very good by the way. I also found every single volume of Jujutsu Kaisen, which I gotta say, kinda had to hold myself back from getting. We also took a quick trip to the venue where the theater was located for the Trash Taste Show. Very, very pretty. And here is a small compilation of us going through a bunch of Oslo's main buildings. Oh, this is the city hall? Apparently. And this is where like the, the city guys... Yeah. Where, what is it? What is it? It's such a nice day. So all peace price are from there. Huh. Well, all the research stuff is from Sweden. The sun was shining beautifully on the docks today and the city was brimming with life and seagulls who, at least in Oslo, are very chunky. Then we sat down and rested for a little bit because we had been walking for about three hours in a row. And within our journey, we stumbled upon quite the spectacular structure. Just a pair of breasts out in the wild. Elevator Ferris wheel. Yeah. Basically. Oh my. Yeah, that, that's something, all right. By far, one of my most favorite things to do since I moved to Norway has definitely been to just sit by the docks and look at the sea, since the waves are really comforting and the horizon is absolutely mesmerizing. Here we saw a building that had Pikachu's remains smeared on the side, and the inside of this building was extremely interesting, being super tall and filled with many shops. A tunnel, but no. We decided to quickly pass by a boba shop and I got to try out taro boba for the first time and it was really really good. But without further ado, it was now time for us to head to the theater where the Trash Taste Boys would be doing their live show. Part 3 Trash Taste Live It wasn't long before the venue opened and we rushed inside to get our seats. The stage was absolutely mesmerizing and I truly couldn't wait to see them. I have been watching the Trash Taste Boys individually since I was very young, being a big fan of anime, and every single one of them introduced me to a different part of anime that I still really do enjoy today. However, if I had to choose a favorite, it would definitely be Connor since I've watched him the longest. I love his streams, I love his content, the way it's developed, and I couldn't wait any longer for the show to start. It wasn't long before the stage was absolutely packed full without one seat left opened. I am pretty confident that they sold out and for good reason. This would be a show to remember for the rest of my life. Small warning, I was a bit excited.
opportunity to ace your own quiz. He must have used all his getcha like a Hong Kong. <sighs> Just, uh, just wanted to rub it in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> show was over and I had one hell of a time. However, seeing the black bus outside, I really couldn't help but think, I wonder if the Trash Taste boys are gonna leave soon. So me and my friends stuck around for a little while. And after a lot of me jokingly saying, you know, what if one of them comes out, I had the chance to meet my biggest content creator idol, Sea Dog VA, and I took pictures of the moment. And I was so incredibly happy, and I was shaking, and he was just the sweetest person ever. And again, I will remember this day till the end of my life. Not only was the show absolutely fantastic, I also managed to get myself some of their exclusive merch for the tour, which looks absolutely amazing. But with all that said and done, thank you for watching today, and I will see you all very, very soon.